In some politics this evening, MP for South Dai, Roxin Nelson Dafiamepo, says he will, in consultation with members from the South traditional areas, file a private member's motion demanding a bipartisan probe into their exclusion from parliament. Sandra Kofi, Akpafu, Lolobi and Likpe traditional areas are still without representation in parliament after the EC on the eve of the 2020 polls excluded them from the parliamentary elections. How is it possible that a group of people in this country do not have representation in parliament? There, there has to be a reason. So it is that reason that they want parliament to inquire into and the factors that led to that. If you advise the AG pursuant to Article 47 Clause 6, which says that the alteration of the boundaries of an existing constituency will take effect after the dissolution of next parliament. Now, the situation in Sal didn't fall under any constituency because as, as, as an AC, you didn't place them under Hohoi. Neither did you place them under Boom because you asked them not to participate in the 2020 elections. So they are like a people in abeyance. So how can anybody say that Article 47 Clause 6 applied to their situation? It did not apply. In the, in the contemplation of the framers of the Constitution, an existing constituency is an existing constituency. So the existing constituencies could be Huawei or Boom. You didn't place them under any. But you found it strange enough, they found it administratively convenient to create polling stations in those areas for purposes of the conduct of the presidential elections. The presidential elections also conduct their polling stations. Polling stations belong to a constituency. So the polling stations where the presidential elections were conducted within SAR, under which constituency did they fall? Because this is a matter of a Venn diagram. You have to belong to a subset. When you draw the cycles, there has to be a subset for somebody to belong to. And that is the tragedy of the situation that we find ourselves in.